guys it's kelsey and kendra and today we did a first time friday for you guys and we used the jackie Ina palette by anastasia beverly hills yes and we're not gonna say too much about it in the intro but these are the looks mm -hmm. that we created and i must say a bitch look cute <laughs> I'm obsessed with this I'm palette. Obsessed, so I'm obsessed. that's kind of a spoiler already. Yeah. But if you guys want to see us play with the palette and get into it, then you can, of course, keep watching. This yes. is a chit chat style video. Mm -hmm. Of course, we finished the rest of our makeup. You know, we completed the look. Of course, all the products we use will be in the description box below. Hopefully, you can still get your hands on this palette because it is limited edition. Mm -hmm. You can get it at Sephora. Yeah. So if you can't get it at Sephora, you can check out the Anastasia Beverly Hills website. So yeah, get into it. So we hope you guys enjoy this first time Friday using the Jackie Ina palette. And yeah, let's just stop rambling and get into the video. Okay, so here's the beautiful palette. This is the box that it comes in. Just has a J and an A on it. I love they have the little heart in her J. Yeah, I threw, my, I threw my box away because I was very excited. Got it. And I couldn't wait to open it. It just says Anastasia Beverly Hills at the bottom. I'm obsessed with this box because of the texture. I just love details. Yeah, and so, I like the uh, iridescent colors. I can appreciate details very yeah. much. Yeah, me too. So, love this packaging. But most importantly, the colors inside. I'm already trying to figure out what look I'm about to do. And I think I'm going to do like a pinky red look maybe. Because I really like Supreme. It's like this pink up here. And I also like it's pretty wigglies. I think that's wig Elise. Oh, wig Elise. Probably saying that so wrong. <laughs> but oh, and edges and gender look like bomb transition shades. All right, I want to go ahead and start. I want to go ahead and start. <laughs> we already have foundation on, by the way. Yeah, to save some time. I mixed the NARS Natural Radiant with the Cover FX Power Play. So I mixed those two. I only have the NARS one on by itself. That's the foundation situation. Okay, so I'm just gonna prime with this Urban Decay Primer in Eden. This is Kendra's, I just I love how all the pa uh, palettes come with a brush. Love that. Well, I mean, that's classic Anastasia Beverly Hills. So I don't know if this is me being predictable, but I'm leaning more towards the purple. Shooking, 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 Shookington. Shookington. <laughs> I cannot speak today. Shookington, I which speak. is this beautiful purple here. Okay, so I still have lash extension guys, and this is my second time getting them. I got them more dramatic this time, and at first it was kind of a shock, cause I was like, okay, this is a little much for me, but they look really good with makeup. Gotcha. And I got them longer on the ends and shorter on the inside, but they're kind of tricky to have when doing eyeshadow. So I feel like they're more for girls who don't wear a lot of makeup or a lot of eyeshadow. But you said you didn't like them when you didn't have on, um makeup when you first got those done i honestly liked them better as some of the hair started falling out because gotcha. it was a little much in the beginning for me okay so i think it just depends on like the person like how dramatic they want them you're not supposed to get any oil on them because oil kind of uh, separates the uh, adhesive and it makes the lashes fall out faster mine have been falling out faster than the average person because i have extremely oily eyelids so i think that's why they haven't been lasting as long as they should be gotcha because they don't like oil and I have oily eyelids. So I don't know if I'm gonna keep getting them. I wish I could, but I do, I'm just a oily eyelid, eyelided person. I don't eyelided know. person? <laughs> I don't know. Okay. So if you guys are wondering what color I'm going in currently, it's called Big Wig. Oh, so I'm just gonna go ahead and go in with that first. I'm just gonna mix ginger and edges first. Formula still the same, very consistent. Anastasia, I can appreciate consistency. I feel like I can do a real pretty soft look with ginger like on the lid. Like it's like a pretty everyday color that you can just drag on your, oh uh, yeah, in your Super crease sample. and pack on your lid. That Definitely. seems like a good everyday color. Definitely. Okay, so I want to go in with Supreme, but I think I'm just gonna go in with Wigglies. Yeah, the color of underneath Supreme on my lid. Cause I want to do like a, uh, like a shimmery ready lid. This is shimmery red, Ooh, right? Zam is pretty. What? I know, I was looking at Zam. I'm gonna, I'm gonna use Zam in my inner tear duct though. Love that this is not chunky. This Wiggly's color. Zam looks like it might be a little chunky, so we're gonna see when we're going with the inner tear duct, but Wiggly's is definitely not chunky. Like, you know, some shimmer shades, they have like a ton of like glitter as soon as you like put the brush in. I hate that, but this Wiggly's is not doing that. No need to wet the brush. Wiggly's. 
it's like fire it's like a mix between like a red with a hint of orange i love that this is actually showing up the way it looks in the pan like it's a very very like medium purple it's not lavender it's not plum it's like a true, a true purple. purple yes i was gonna say i was gonna say true purple and obviously if you guys don't know purple is my favorite color it has been for as long as i can say the word color <laughs> <laughs> so I'm just going in with a little bit of Kevin Aquan concealer to define my lid a little bit more. And then I'm going to go in with Shippington shade. I'm trying to find a crease brush because I want to go in with a tad bit of credit. And it's kind of like a chocolatey brown color just to uh, deepen the outer crease a little bit. Okay, that mole on my lid is really annoying because it's getting in the way. It's not making me great right now. Oh, your hangy mole? Yes, I have a mole on my lid. That's how you know you can old them when you start getting them hangy moles. I have one under well, my you armpit. You gotta say it like that. It sounds so gross. But I have one too under my armpit. Hangy mole. But just say mole. You okay, add, but add it's different it. kinds of moles. It's flat because if you, the only reason you saying it is because it's hangy. If it was flat, it wouldn't be in your way. Sure. I'm gonna get chocolate brown, just refreshing. Cause I hate when I grab a color and it don't look nothing like it look in the pan. I love like how iridescent it is. Yeah, this is um, too. But it's like almost it's like a satiny finish. This brush actually works really good with the shimmers. The brush and the palette, mm. like this part. Mm. See? such a big difference is your use I was using a flat brush like this yes yeah, it's not gonna pick up as much color the only thing I don't see is a black or a brow bone I, shade. I noticed that too but I think this is like a like a fun kind of palette this is like the perfect shimmery purple I feel like it's so hard to get purples right in palettes apparently because every time I use one I'm not like that pleased with it not as on satisfied. My lid, I'm like, mm -hmm. you think it looks okay? Yeah, it's not Thank enough. You. Like once I put it on, but this one is giving me what I need. And I don't know if you guys noticed, but I'm only still using two colors, which is pretty amazing. Usually, I'm picking up like three shades, at least three to four shades, like mixing them around and blending throughout the whole entire look. That's but what I just did. <laughs> I mix edges and ginger. This was in my crease. So that's typically what I would do, but I couldn't help myself. I'm trying to. I was trying to like dab into everything. Gotcha, you're sampling. Yeah, I'm sampling, you know, Sam's. But, Sam? <laughs> yes. But um, I did use four colors. I'm just going to conceal really quickly and then I'm gonna go back to the eye. This is the KKW Concealer in the number 14, which I'm obsessed with because I feel like it goes perfect with my skin tone. <laughs> Why are you talking like that? <laughs> this is the Kylie Cosmetics Concealer. Let me and just open my mouth. I always have my mouth wide open when I put on concealer. I mean, it's fine. As long as you get it right. But um, yeah, I'm just using this Kylie Cosmetics one. It's pretty bomb. And over top, I'm going to use the Cover FX Power Play. We always mix some stuff. Can I can never be satisfied with one thing. That's a lie. I don't always. It depends on how much of a rush I'm in. Mm -hmm. But if I'm taking my time, I'm using like three or four things. I'm trying something different because all of my beauty blenders are dirty and I'm using this Huda Beauty Sculpt and Shade Face Brush. So I use this for the foundation and then I'm using the smaller size for concealer and I like it. Because I normally don't use brushes for concealer. I only like if I use one, I'll use it for foundation sometimes. I actually prefer the darker uh, Laura Mercier, Mercier powder over this one now since you put me on, but this is all I have here because I have the dark one right here. You could've used mine. I have my other one packed. Oh, sorry. You could've used mine. But I just like brushed it all over in your face. No, you brushed it on yourself. It's all over your shirt. It's translucent. It's <laughs> this has been my little trick for a while now. I will blend it, set it, and then move on to the next section. Cause when I blend all of it together, then it creates creases, which is really annoying, so. But only do this with a concealer that stays like wet longer. If it dries really fast, it's gonna be stuck like that. <laughs> so I'm really getting excited about this. So I'm gonna apply some lashes because Kelsey already has lashes on and I need to go ahead and start moving ahead. I don't wanna be behind. So I'm going to apply these Miami lashes by Lily. These are the Sephora version of them. For Sephora collection, Lily lashes, it's the same. 
Okay, so I'm just packing on edges and ginger on my lower lash line just so that the look is more complete. A lot of people say when they do this, because you guys see me do this quite often, you say that you get fallout underneath. To avoid fallout, just like pack it under there like that. You don't have to like sweep if you don't want to. Oh, the lashes just give it a facelift. <laughs> I don't see how people do it. Like, what do you do without eyelashes? Like, I don't understand. Well, doing a, with a, a glam look, you have to have eyelashes. Unless you naturally have good lashes. Come through Miami. Come through. Oh. I don't have this one. These are old faithfuls. I've been wearing these lashes for years. Yeah, Miami's are like, to me, her best style. Yes. Yeah, I agree. Lower lash action. I literally feel like the lower lash line just brings it together. It's like curtains for a room. <laughs> yes, it does. Ooh. Lashes and like the shadow on the lower lash line bring it together. Definitely. They're the curtains for the eye look. Then, why stop there? Let's do some eyeliner. Yeah, I just added eyeliner too. To my lower lash line, well, just, just to make this more water sultry. It gives it a sultry vibe, eyeliner. This is Zero by Urban Decay. By the way, the powder that I used on my face was Makeup Forever Duo Match. And I feel like I've been using that for almost 10 years now. Yeah, we have. I just used one of my cheaper eyeliners because I'm not gonna have this makeup on that long and I don't want this to be like a dish to take off. So I just used this CoverGirl one. So I just bronzed with my tried and true KKW, um, what's the name of this thing? Uh, <laughs> KKW Beauty Powder Contour Highlight Kit. And I always go in with this color in the corner right here. I just, I'm just obsessed with it. I like how it's not too muddy. It has like a tad bit of a red undertone, but not too much. Well, I'm bronzing with Mahogany by Anastasia. By Anastasia. Oh, I have that in my travel uh, stuff. I really it's, like it a lot. It's actually it's matte. Yes, yeah, in my travel makeup bag. Some bronzers that I like, like the Guerlain Terracotta. It has a little bit of shimmers in it. And it leaves you a little oily, so it's like better for winter. Winter, so winter bronzer. Mm -hmm. By the way, who's excited for fall? Yes. Me. Yes. I'm so over summer. Yes. I just hate being hot. I always tell Kelsey this summer only makes sense if you're on a yacht or a beach. <laughs> Other than that, I don't understand it. I agree. <laughs> it's way too hot. This is, oh, I haven't used this in forever. This is the Super Shop Cheek by ColourPop in the shade Avalon. I'm not doing it. Oh, that's too extra. We're going to tone her down. <laughs> I don't have that. I don't think I've tried this one before. It's so pretty, but. It's very pretty. It's like perfect for darker skin tone. Yeah. Thank you. Give me to go. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can see it. It's like a copper bronzy tone. It's pretty gorgeous. Okay, so we're gonna take some chestnut by MAC and line our lips. I'm just mixing three different lip liners because I didn't bring any liquid lipstick over here. I'm just mixing True Brown K, NYX's Nutmeg, and Kat Von D's Lolita 2. So those are the three I'm mixing. I forgot how pretty Nutmeg was by NYX. Like if y'all are looking for like a really pretty soft brown, Nutmeg by NYX is like so pretty. Then we're gonna go in with Maybelline Superstay Matte Ink in the shade Amazonian. Like a nice peachy nude, which is my favorite kind of nude. And Chelsea is still struggling with she her. She to do something about this. Lip this liner. always happens with these lip liners. Like when they need to be sharpened, they like fall back down in here. It's so annoying. So that's one thing I do like about uh, like retractable ones. Yeah. You don't have to worry about sharpening. That's true. And then MAC is like a real pencil. pencil. So it doesn't fall back in there. But so, I like how creamy hers are. That's why I keep using them. Yeah. So creamy. On. Yeah. I want a gloss. So we're going to do the Pat McGrath Flesh 6. That's the, the number or the shade. Oh, and this pretty. is her Lust Gloss. Lust Lip Gloss. And this is also like a terracotta color. So pretty. I'm gonna try her foundation. Yes, I really wanna try it. I know it's been out for like kind of semi a minute. So y'all let us know if y'all want us to do a first time Friday on the Pat McGraw foundation. Cause we would love to do that for y'all. I love this. Is really it sticky? Need... No, it's very like smooth and buttery. Almost like, like a moisturizing kind of gloss. Hmm. Not sticky, no. You can actually do just lip liner in this by itself because it's a very like opaque kind of gloss. 
it's not like a sheer gloss. Kind of add some hoops on top. Okay. I love this look. This is the final look. I'm obsessed. Like, obsessed, I'm obsessed with this too. Like, I can go out to dinner with this. Like, this is like a night out. With, like, girls' night out. Perfect. By the way, I just threw this braid in my hair because I have deep conditioner in it. So yeah, if you see any flyaways, yeah, if you see well, any flyaways, excuse that. But yeah, this is definitely a look. Yes. I must say I'm obsessed. So this palette gets five out of five stars, but I'm not surprised. I knew Jackie so was pretty. gonna come correct. Love this. And I knew I was gonna like the colors in it because she's brown, we're brown. Any brown girl would love this palette. So if you chocolate, you're gonna like this palette. Yes. It's so bomb. Mm -hmm. Like the colors are so complimentary to our skin tone. Definitely. And she was definitely looking out for us. She just it. showed out with this palette. I love it. And I only used two shades in this palette. So I didn't even get to dabble in the other shades. So I'm still excited to use it more. You're gonna really like Edges and Ginger. I'm I can sure. see you putting Edges and, and Ginger like on your lid. Cause definitely. you like matte look. Love a good matte look. Um, so, so I probably do that. You would like that. For sure. But yeah, I used four shades because I'm Kind of extra, uh -huh. but I feel like it, you know, brought the look together perfectly, and it's just like a super pretty red, like night out look. So that completes this video. We hope you guys enjoyed this first time Friday. Let us know what other things you want us to try for a first time Friday, whether it be makeup, a hair product, food. Uh -huh. Just let us know, because you guys know we like to dabble around the board when it comes to first time Fridays, uh -huh. just to keep it interesting for you guys so that it's not repetitive. Yeah. So yeah, we hope you guys enjoyed this video and we'll see y'all next time.